actually educate, inspire, and make you think. The future is now. Topics and music that affect your life from Universal Broadcasting Network. Tune in at UBNRadio.com. Oh, hey, hey, hey. It's time for the Pandora Box Show. Oh, my God. Ooh, the fuck is? <laughs> They're so good. They sound oh, the same every week. They're it's amazing. They're so good. They're so good. I didn't pay them. It's dedication. I well, didn't you didn't pay, pay me no. either. Well, no. But, uh, but. <laughs> you don't deserve it. <laughs> and I'm here with my co-host. Uh, can't get oh, rid of her. <laughs> Samantha Hale. I keep showing up. Oh, my God. They like me. They really like me. That's you got stadium applause. That's I sure did. Stadium did. quality there. <laughs> you got like small outside arena. <laughs> I know they're I like got stadium. Oh, we're her again. Oh. That's kind of how I. <laughs> that's how I've been feeling lately. I don't know if you know, but the the business of show is is kind of tough sometimes. Uh, I'm familiar. Yeah, <laughs> you get like one good thing, and you're like, oh my god, yeah, that's <laughs> really great, and then you get another thing, and you're like, I suck. I'm just done. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I know. That's like, you know. That was, that was my day. Yesterday was like, oh my God. Like, I've been sitting here going, gosh, I really, you know, I need something to come along. I'm, I'm, but I'm not somebody that just sits and waits for it. Like, I don't wait, but I'm kind of like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh. and then all of a sudden it goes blink and I get this email and it's this request to be on this, this show and all this stuff. And I'm like, oh my God, this is really exciting. Tell my manager, blah, blah, blah. And then today I get an email that's like, well, you know, not the show, but it does another thing. They're like, well, I don't really want you. And I'm like, oh, oh Christ, and a wooden cross or a Starbucks cup or whatever. See, I feel really <laughs> great because all the sh- there's so many shows that want me to work for free, and I do <laughs> all the time. They're Whoa. like, guess what? You get to be on stage, <laughs> and you get to promote it yourself. <laughs> you get to bring all your friends. Aww. Oh, I love when I people know, ask right? me to do shows, and th- <laughs> I'm like, um, do you know how long it takes to get in drag, right? <laughs> well, we just did a show um, at Fubar. Last week, and it was like two hours for you to get ready. Oh, and like oh my God. And it, six people showed up. <laughs> and I knew all of them. Well, that, you know what? It and was, it's actually, it's a nor- it's it's Mikey and Teddy's comedy hour. Normally. It's it, packed it, normally. And it's so much fun. And I did still have fun. But it's the weekend after Halloween. Yeah, so and everyone came the week before. Yeah, and they were all like, they're like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like to meet you, Jay Rodriguez, and a couple lesbians. It was great. Yeah. So it was great. <laughs> like I drank some fireball shots, apparently. And some? Oh, sh- you, you didn't remember any of it. The next day, she's like, why don't I feel good? I was like, girl, there was fireball involved. I was like, did I say anything when I was on stage? <laughs> you, um, I think you went an entire 30 minutes without referencing my vagina. It was great. Wow. I felt like a whole person with other body parts. It was fabulous. Gross. <laughs> Uh, and i also didn't uh know one of my own notes that i wrote down (laughs) i was like (gasps) looking at my notes oh but i did leslie what the (laughs) fuck is that about and i was in the background like jordan (laughs) leslie jordan and then i was like oh (laughs) i got it (laughs) oh my god that's the worst when you're a comedian then when you're like because it was a long story and i was done at that point you're like (laughs) Like, fuck you guys like i can't it's just you guys and i'm done and i really (laughs) am kind of like realizing i'm a little intoxicated because I don't like to be um, I don't like to be drunk and attempt to do comedy on stage. It's it doesn't really work. But I had so much fun because I had my first like real heckler who was interrupting me. <laughs> oh wait, <laughs> that was you. Oh you my guys, god, I was the worst. She heckled me so bad. It was hilarious. It was just you and me going back and forth. I know. See, time. that's the point though. That ah. there's a point that I get drunk that I think I'm really funny, <laughs> and then there becomes a point where I'm definitely not very funny, and I still think I am. I'm like that drunk homo that's like, eh, hey, look, <laughs> girl, Mary, blah, blah, like that horrible drunk, and. I thought that I had crossed over into that realm. So. No, you were fine, but I did appreciate your text the next morning. It's like, was I funny last night? <laughs> <laughs> was I oh. actually? 
<laughs> yeah. You actually were though. You know, okay. you had some great. Yeah, it's a lot of. I your felt like I really was, nicely. but you I were. just wanted to make sure you were having fun. And it was really like we just did a comedy show in our living room. It totally basically. was. That's what it was. Well, there just happened to be a really hot bartender with no shirt and a long beard. Who I? Yes. A oh. straight one. Hey. Oh, that's why I'm like he's hot. Oh, he was hot, but he's straight. So I'm and has a girlfriend. Boo. Well. Well. Two vaginas are better than one. <gasps> oh my God, that's so good. One of the. <laughs> I never thought I'd ever hear you say that. I was gonna say ever. one in the one of two one in the pink, two in the stink, or whatever. Two in the one in two the, in the pink and one in the stink. What's two that in the called? goo, one in the poo. Ew. <laughs> you started it. Yeah, but you said this poo. is a family. Pr- oh, oh, oh. Okay, poo. All right, let's. That's do. the worst thing we've said. <laughs> All right, it's say something. Speaking of poo, <laughs> let's do some celebrity stalking. I'm oh, I'm oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my vagina's out! Oh, oh my god! Our guests just left. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't know what they were getting into. Uh-huh. Um, so my my big celebrity stalking thing is that um, um, the Bette Midler and Justin oh, Bieber geez. feud, mm-hmm. which is crazy. Because, you know, Justin Bieber, his dick was hanging out, and then his dad was like, That's uh, my boy. Oh, it's the biggest <laughs> dad. No, wait, he said, oh, no. what do you feed that thing? Hashtag proud daddy. I'm like, <laughs> Ew. 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 You're so gross. And now I know why your son's a douchebag. I bet you a lot of other men were hashtagging proud daddy that day, so, too. Oh. <laughs> 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 um, so Bette Midler said uh, that, that she's like, oh, his dad's proud about this. T- uh, tweeting, talking about his dad. I'm just confuddled by this you whole just, situation. I know. She said, I think the biggest dick in this situation is the dad who abandoned his son. And so I'm like, what good for Bette Midler? Because yeah. it's true. And one, it's Bette Midler, and she could do it wrong. Um, and then in, in Billboard magazine, Justin did a uh, an interview, and he said, I don't really know who this Brit Medler is. <laughs> Brit Medler. <laughs> Brit wow. Medler. I'm like, now come on. You may not know every goddamn song she's done, but if you're in the music industry, you yeah. should know who Bette Midler is. Right. And you do know who Batman. You should is. at least know who Winifred Sanderson is, um, if anything. <coughs> and then, uh, <laughs> then <laughs> Bat tweeted him and said, oh, no. "Brit Medler, I don't know who that is either, but damn that bitch." <laughs> So I fucking love her. And oh then somebody quickly created the, the screen name Brit Medler on Twitter. And Brilliant. Wrote, and they, I don't know who this is, but I want to kiss them on the mouth. Because they wrote, <laughs> for the record, it was cold there in Bette Midler's shadow. <laughs> oh and my then God. Bette Midler tweeted back and said, I peed. <laughs> Which makes me love Bette Midler even more. Oh my God. That person has got to take credit for that. I don't know. It's all pretty genius, and I had to share it if if ha- people had, didn't know about it because um, I'm a huge Bette Midler fan. Well, yeah, you just made a an interest. Did you post it? You just made a meme today of uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> Justin Bieber, like his newest uh, album yeah, his new featuring Brett. What, what I, well, his new album is called Purpose, and I changed it to penis and drew like a cartoon <laughs> penis next to his mouth. <laughs> And it says featuring Brit Medler, <laughs> which I'm kind of like, I hope people, like, some people don't get it. Well, Although I got called a racist on Instagram for, for posting it. For what? And I'm kind of like, Wait, what? why? Because Justin Bieber uh, made some racist comments or sung, like, Ku Klux Klan songs. But you're making something. fun of Justin Bieber, so. Well, that's, but apparently she missed. And we did have an Instagram conversation. She was <sighs> like, oh, I'm sorry, I missed it. I think she just saw Justin Bieber's face and thought I was yeah. promoting well, him or whatever. I'm like, honey, there's a big cartoon <laughs> dick in his mouth, and it says penis. Was it a white penis, Pandora? <laughs> God, I can't believe you. It was a black and white penis. Well, there you go. It was a... <laughs> like all I can see is the Michael Jackson video right no, now. No, <laughs> she actually she actually apologized. I think she just didn't look didn't at the full picture. Re- yeah, well, people but. who freak out on Instagram tend to miss a lot of things. Yeah, but uh, oh, other in celebrity stalking news um, is that Cher tweeted me. <gasps> oh my god, I did see I that. Know, are I you died. okay? Are you I'm fine. recovering? I mean, are you? Because we talk, we were talking politics. We were talking about one of those douchebag Republicans. <laughs> oh, uh, Jeb Bush and. Ugh. Yeah. Um, and it was, it was, I, I didn't. No, what did you say I, to I her? Pee. What did you say to her? Well, she said something about him, and he looks like a, something about it. 
See, I should have written it down. You should have this right tattooed now. on your forehead. It's from Cher. I know, but I I just remembered it as I'm reading this Brett Mithler thing, and oh I God. realized that I haven't been we haven't done a show since Cher tweeted me. So I was <laughs> like, ah, shit buckets. Nothing um, matters since Cher tweeted. Something you. about a, running a lemonade stand, or nobody. And I was like, yeah, he looks like the kid that would, uh, the kid that peed in the lemonade and sold it. Totally. And she said he just feels like he has no soul, basically. Yeah. No, she feels or bad no joy, for him. no nothing. Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, you're totally. I feel sad for. Um, all Republicans, because those are your choices. Ooh. And I feel sorry for Americans mm -hmm. because it's America. Yeah. Terrible. Oh, that pee in that lemon. Oh, God. All right. Let's just go to Man Crush. Man Crush. I got my nipples hard. <laughs> um, they always are. <laughs> so sometimes I go for, like, you know, the real hunky, all these kind of guys. Because I, I just want to blow them, and that's really the only reason they're a man crush. But Fair enough. my man crush this week is actually somebody I admire and who is actually a really good actor. And because it's been in so many things, but right now he's an American horror story, and I have a man crush on Dennis O'Hare because I love the Liz Ta Taylor character. And this oh. past week, and it's not, too, it's not really any kind of spoiler, but it gets like a backstory of his story. And it was Liz so like, yeah. it's so like touching because I have, I've met a lot of people that are, are him. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe they're not in a murderous hotel <laughs> watching somebody <laughs> kill people. Maybe they're not dumping bodies you know, on a shoot, you know, but... They're working for a vampire or whatever she is. But, but they look um, real nice with a cat eye. But somebody that... But people have gone through that struggle. They had yeah. a group of... of uh, Women cross dressers because it's more cross dressers. Right, so well, I'm trying not trying to insult anybody, but it's the cross dressers, the men that they they're they don't want to be a woman, but they want to wear the women's clothes and right. like a transvestite. That's what they are. And and I had a group of them that would come to a bar that I worked at, and they were all so thrilled because I just treated them like normal. And I yeah. was like, well, why wouldn't I? You're a person. And you tip me, so right. <laughs> money talks. <laughs> but yeah, it was just it was a really it was a really cool story because it was just about like being yourself, and it was cool because it right. goes with Gaga's whole thing, and they right. had a moment. And, and yeah. what's cool is he's such a wise character on that show. Like, yes. there's so much wisdom and confidence. He's so grounded. It's really cool to see a character yeah. like that. And it's it's yeah. I mean it's all in part to um, Dennis O'Hare's portrayal because he's great on every he's season. So, yeah, and he's so and then like you you see somebody and you know they've been in a lot of stuff and then you go back and you're like oh my god he was in that and he was in that and that That's and such that, a good and place. that and that and that yeah yeah when people might not necessarily know exactly who the actor's name is but they're like that guy works yeah. all the time and they're always brilliant actors and he replied to me on Twitter too and I got oh a little, you're I just fanned, on fire I fan girl a little oh my yeah. god did you take a picture and like put it up on oh, your I, wall I, anybody that I really like that tweets me I I. I I don't frame it, but I, I screen cap it and save it. That's cool. That's actually really cute. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. It's cool that, w and when, um, well, I know sometimes when I reply to people that they, they freak out and I'm like, girl, it's just me. Um, but <laughs> it's cool to get replies. I mean, I know I, everybody can't, but um, so yeah, any man crush for you? Because I'm excited to bring these guests on, so. Oh, okay. Well, we'll just do this really quickly. I, I, I now I feel like a complete narcissistic douchebag. Oh, it's all right because <laughs> normally that's what it is, <laughs> and I threw you off. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you before. Oh my god! Look at you and like your serious, <laughs> heartfelt topics. Who are you? Oh like, you god! Sorry. I I balls, you... dick, balls. I like big <laughs> balls, and I cannot lie. See, I don't have feelings because I got rid of those for weight loss purposes. But um, no, actually, I mean, I had I had someone tell me they had a little bit of a crush on me, and it was just such an interesting basically this guy came up to me I, I i he's been to a few of my shows and he comes up to me after he was like hey um i just i gotta tell you something i'm like yeah okay cool what is it he's like i uh you know i really like watching you perform you're just you're just really hot up there i love watching you i just really wanted you to know that you are making my wife's sex life so good right now Oh. <laughs> I don't. I, I just wanted everybody to know that. I, I don't really have anything to say about that. No, I just like, how, what do you say to that? Like, thank you? No, you say you're welcome. <laughs> Tell your wife you're Tell welcome. Your wife, oh, I'm sure she would love that. Hey, the woman <laughs> that your husband <laughs> is fantasizing about says you're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, you would do that. <laughs> <laughs> if I was in drag, I would totally. You do absolutely. It. I would totally. Would. You would relish every minute of it. Completely do. You it. would. You would screen cap that. She's too. welcome. Yeah, she's. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm very excited because yes. today we have um, Kelly Mantle from yes. RuPaul's Drag Race, and uh, oh, I love her to death. So hysterical, and um, from just everything. I don't even know the list from like Chelsea lately, and just a hysterical comedian. Fortune Feimster is here. Cannot wait. Did I say her last name right? 
don't look at me. Okay. Because <laughs> I was kind of like afraid. I'm like, oh my God, I love her. And I just always call her Fortune. But we also, we have a sponsor, everybody. Oh my God, sponsor. sponsor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was really loud. Yes, yeah. we're very excited. Um, we have a sponsor. It's work.com. And um, having just launched yesterday, the hot new website, work.com, is the rebirth of Chiffon Dior's popular website, not safe for work.com. Started in April of 2014, not Safe for Work grew to include over 20 diverse writers and featured interviews with some of the biggest names in drag, such as Alaska, Katya, Laganja, Astranja, Kelly Mantle, Sherry Vine, and a little queen named Pandora Box. <laughs> not to mention other luminaries like Broadway star Leslie Margarita and activist Jack McEnroe. Following the crowning of Box of Vine as the first ever Miss Not Safe for Work 2015, the first of its kind online drag pageant, Chiffon decided the timing was perfect to take the site to a whole new level. Make no mistakes, work.com. You have to say it like that, right? Work. work. Still has the same witty, cutting edge content that landed Chiffon a 2015 Glammy nomination. And there's still the same sassy spot that iconic. Devin Green, described as fun, so dynamic with so much content, it's my daily go-to website. Armed with a new name and a fresh lurk, work.com welcomes you to the relaunch and invites you to join them as your daily stop for the best in drag nightlife, entertainment, pop culture, gets even better. That's W-E-R-R-R-K, work.com. Yay. Yay! And now uh, Kelly Magel has a new song out called Keyboard Courage, so we're going to play that while I go get my guests from the dungeon. <laughs> Yay! 
Kelly Mantle, Keyboard Courage. I feel like a DJ. Hey, <laughs> Kelly Mantle. All right, Keyboard DJ. Courage. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for coming on my show. Well, thank you for having me. From RuPaul's Drag Race and your, your brand new songs out. I know. Isn't it exciting? It is. <laughs> I'm very excited. And we have uh, one of my favorite comedians, Fortune Feimster, is here, hey. too. Hi. <laughs> They oh, love the you. crowd goes wild. Oh. Sorry, Kelly. Sorry about it. <laughs> no, it, was, you know, it was for both of you. It's not the first time. Trust me. Um, so, what made you want to do keyboard courage? I mean, I know, but mm. well, you know, it's. I mean, for me, listen, it's. It was just a. a I love to sit down with my guitar and my piano and write songs about all kinds of things, and that was just one thing that was on my mind one night when I wrote it. But I wanted to keep it upbeat and fun and not, you know, so serious, really, even though it is about a serious subject. Yeah. Uh, because for me, I, anytime someone comes for me online, uh, I laugh about it. I laugh it off. I think it's hilarious. I have a very wicked sense of humor. So I like <laughs> when people say mean things about me. Um, but I know for a lot of uh, kids, and I'm sure you can relate to this, we meet a lot of them, you know, at meet and greets or a lot of them message us online. And, yeah. you know, they don't know how to laugh it off and stuff. So I just wanted the kids to have some anthem that they could just kind of feel good when they listen to it, you know, and just kind of brush it off and dance it off and laugh it off and sing it off. Right. I f we're so much ag against bullying, but there's so <laughs> much bullying online <laughs> that it's it's just crazy. So like, funny. I post a picture and it's kind of like, um, I don't remember really asking for your opinion. Or somebody <laughs> will just write, <laughs> eyeliner is crooked. That was just a comment oh. one time. And I'm like, um, <laughs> yeah. I well, didn't really ask you. And he's like, and I said, like, why would you write that? He's like, well, it's all right. It happens to all of us. Oh, no, no, you shouldn't be <laughs> writing. I'm not asking for your, like, I'm like... I don't need you to like all like be up my ass saying how great I look, but I'm like, and they're like, well, if you post it down here, that's what you should expect. I'm like, no, I mean, I'm posting it because that's my career. I'm supposed to post things yeah. like that. Yeah. Right. Like I don't need, I don't know. It's crazy. Well, it's, but yeah. you can engage them because then it's just, it just keeps going. Oh, they love I know that. that. It's almost worse when you say something to them. Then they're like, oh my God, you wrote me back. Mm -hmm. And you're <laughs> like, wait, <laughs> you, you just called me a whale. <laughs> and now you're excited that I'm talking to you. Oh my, I would say it's like 90% of the time they do that. Like yeah. it's like, yeah. they're like, oh my God, you answered me. They, oh my they, life's I complete. didn't mean it like that. Uh, yeah, they think that we don't read it or something. No. It just yeah. magically disappears from our eyes. I mean, I didn't really mean it that you look like a burn victim going through key. <laughs> I was just like saying like, you know, maybe you had a chemical pill recently. <laughs> oh my God. I had, I, I posted a clip of a joke. It's a Helen Keller joke. And this woman was like, way to post the most ableist thing you've ever said. Blah, 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 and then like starts going off on me. And she was obnoxious. So other people started posting other Helen Keller jokes just to <laughs> piss her off. And then at one point she got so mad. She was like, you know what? I hope you actually die in a fire. Oh, wow. So then wow. someone later posted was like, you know what? I don't know either of you. And I wasn't going to say anything. But my cousin actually did die in a fire. And I'm offended by what you said. Of it was course. this whole Everyone's thing. Always wow. offended. I'm like, oh, my God. I'd like to cordially invite you to not <laughs> look at my page anymore then. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, fine. Mm-hmm. Everyone's offended. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Everyone's offended about everything, aren't they? Mm -hmm. And it's crazy. It's very PC. Mm -hmm. It's insane. Get a sense of humor. <laughs> I know. It's yeah. like, lighten up don't yeah. take everything so literal and serious right you know i mean uh, it's just insane everyone's yeah. yeah i've been reading all kinds of comments about this new song and video and everyone just takes it so serious i'm like girl it's a four minute song in a video what you're getting it's negative fun. feedback it's, about mm, not a lot but some are people just missing the point uh a lot yeah wow. i don't think a lot of people everything i do is tongue-in-cheek i yeah. mean you know i grew up Loving Madonna, everything I yeah. do is tongue in cheek. It's you yeah. know, it's to be taken s only so serious, really. Yeah. You know, like you're commenting. Uh, so I just lighten up. It's a song. It's a you know, it's a video. It's meant to be cheesy. It's meant to be fun. 
Right. It's meant to I, inspire and just have fun with it and just chill the fuck out. Yeah. It's a freaking song. I That's your next message. song. Just chill the fuck <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm going to write a funeral dirge next. <laughs> you know, they want to get serious. I'll get serious, honey. I sit on that piano at nights, you know, stoned out of my mind and drunk. Like, <laughs> I'm chill like, we'll get serious, honey. Out. Trust me. Chill the fuck <laughs> out. Chill the fuck out. <laughs> Feeling a duet right here, girl. Oh, oh my God. Oh, live. Duet. There you go. Oh, chill the fuck out. Collaboration yeah. happening right I'd buy us. that. CTF. <laughs> CTF. <laughs> Hashtag CTF. <laughs> Who needs DTF when you have CTF? Right. It's the new. Exactly. <laughs> the oh new alphabet. God. And Fortune, you have like, I just read your post that there's so much going on in your your world my right now. world i know so much happening so many modeling just, gigs it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard to be me it's, it's hard being a supermodel isn't it it is Ugh. oh it's hard oh uh, yeah i'm on the i'm on like uh, the road almost every weekend in a yeah. different city and then i'm on the mindy project right now so that's, that's awesome. fun and I just right. did like drunk history and some fun stuff like I that. Have I love drunk history. I have to see it. I haven't seen it yet. But it's I've, fun. It's my favorite show. I don't know how much I have to drink and who I have to like accost when I'm drunk to uh -huh. get beyond that show because I want to. I know. It's I think I drunkenly amazing. accosted you at Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> to be on the you show. You were like, hey, <laughs> yeah. I'm on my show. <laughs> we had met before. We had. So I wasn't like yeah. out of the blue, but I kind of, afterwards, I was like, um, I'm going to message her, but I <laughs> think I was really drunk at that point. Everyone was drunk. It's true. So We I, got there late, Halloween. so we hadn't had time to get drunk. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I just, Probably. Uh, and I was kind of just standing there for a while. I'm like, God. <laughs> <laughs> and we got, we kind of got there early. And at first I was like, God, all these costumes suck. This isn't the party I remember. But then as people came in, I'm like, oh my God, now I love everyone's costumes. Yeah. I was probably drunk. I was going to say, the, the, you drunk <laughs> at that point. No, the right? better costumes started coming in. And by that, but that that point because there was a bottle there so I was just like well I'll just keep pouring myself mm -hmm. a drink I mean they're small yeah, little cups <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not driving so there were right. lots of half naked dudes there yes <laughs> taking the slutty costume to the gay realm I know. love it <laughs> so that's just that's just any other night in West Hollywood then oh, oh my god well it was in downtown LA oh Fancy. fancy, fancy like that. <laughs> when Where I was, were you? I was in downtown LA for Halloween. I was at Halloween. -y. Oh no, Halloween night. You mean or Halloween? Oh yeah, Halloween night. Um. Oh, I was down. I was at Red Line. Oh okay. I was at precinct. Oh, I think I thought about going there. I thought about it, but <laughs> after. I didn't. Right. But it. With, by the time I was done, like hosting the costume, it was like it was later. And yeah. I might have been <laughs> drunk again <laughs> because I, was, I hope. you know, you might were hungover been. from the, the day before, and I'm like, girl, I'm gonna need a drink <laughs> to get through this. You drink, drink responsibly, kids. You drink oh, responsibly. You know. mm -hmm. Oh my it. god, that's Matt. the message. Oh, oh there we have god. an incoming phone call from Matt. <laughs> All right, uh -oh. so we should uh, get you the soapbox portion. <laughs> All these sound I effects. Know. I know. <laughs> I love a good sound effect. Um, awesome. So uh, we were talking about the Houston Equal Rights Ordinance that uh, mm -hmm. it would have barred discrimination on the base of race, age, military, social disabilities, 11 other categories, and it was uh, denied, I guess is what you say. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's basically because the uh, conservative activists really were heavily doing this campaign that basically said no women no men in the me in the women's bathroom and that's really what everybody started thinking that it was about was that it was mm -hmm. right this, it was about more than that <clears throat> yeah it was about having you know transsexuals in or uh, yes no transgender sorry i'm like there's so many terminology transgendered uh women in the in the in the women's bathroom that's but that's not what it was all about no, but it seems like the only like people who are objecting are like these older white men. I'm like, you're not going to be in the women's bathroom anyway. Why do you care? <laughs> Fucking creeper. Like, get out. You're so, not going to be there. Yeah, yeah, North Carolina had a similar thing like that where people are all up in arms about, you know, there can't be a man in the women's bathroom. I'm like, ugh, I'm glad I don't live there anymore. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's just well, I'm just kind of like, you know, we don't really care, right? Well, you know what's yeah. funny about it is there um, a beautiful entertainer from Chicago, and her name escapes me right now. She posted a picture to social media, yes. which I'm sure you saw, and yes. she's looking gorgeous in the men's bathroom while they're all standing up at the urinals. Uh -huh. And she said, ladies, do you really want me? 
in the men's right. bathroom. Right. <laughs> because this is what it'll look like. And then that. on the flip side of that, there was a trans man, you know, with a full beard and everything, posted a more serious picture of himself in a women's bathroom. And imagine the looks on all right. these women's faces yeah. saying, there's a man in here. Mm-hmm. Because there is there's a, a man, man in there. there. Yeah. Right. And so it's like, it's just like, I can't we just all like, Believe Get in along. world peace. Can't we, <laughs> can't we all pee together in yeah. harmony? I know. I mean, I think it's just because there are those few out there that ruin it for every that that are just terrible. That would be like the kind of person that would go in there and like, yeah, predators. Well, but that, mm-hmm. but you Ridiculous. can't stop that anyways. Like that no. could happen at any point. Well, I posted time. something. Someone had read, and I, it was a tweet. I didn't write it, but um, they said, you know, more United States senators have been. You know, convicted of wrongdoings in bathrooms oh, and yeah. transgender <laughs> individuals. Yeah. So it's yeah. like, hello, you yeah. know. There's so much hypocrisy mm. out there. We just want to pee. You know, we it. just need to pee and <laughs> I mean, pee. Yeah, to pee. When, I just when, go in there to fix my makeup anyway. You, me too. <laughs> Looking at anyone but myself, <laughs> really. <laughs> I mean, so, so when, much I, makeup. when I'm in drag, I'm kind of like, I'm at different places. I'm just like, where do it you just, go? The women's it, bathroom, right? It looks better that I go into a women's bathroom because right. uh, yeah. otherwise I'm in a man's bathroom and they're all like, what, right. the, what? what the hell are you looking at my wiener for? What the That's yeah. how they say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my God. That's exactly how they said it. Too. Hey, what you doing over there? Are you looking at my wiener? That's, that's funny because that's my lesbian voice too. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Are you looking at my vagina? Oh my <laughs> god! Fortune just turned me on. I think I want to. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Leave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a bathroom right behind you if you really? guys want to go in at the same time and yeah. just see what happens. <laughs> Actually, seven I was minutes just in, in there. <laughs> yeah, seven minutes in heaven. Oh, that was the first time I ever felt a boy's tongue in my mouth. Was seven minutes in heaven. It was the worst experience of. Like, what? Uh, I got tricked into it when I was like in fifth grade or something. They're like, just go in the closet with Joey. I'm like, okay. I too was in the closet, but, <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't have a man's <laughs> tongue yeah. down your No one's tongue was down my throat. Uh, it was just you. <laughs> just me and plaid. <laughs> <laughs> lots and lots of plaid. 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 Listening to some <laughs> Kurt Cobain, honey, feeling her fantasy girl. Here we go, girl. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Early oh Melissa God. Etheridge. Come on, Amy Ray. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I wasn't I wasn't gonna talk about it because I think it's utterly ridiculous, this whole Starbucks like red cup oh gosh. controversy. <laughs> I don't but uh, before I left, literally before I left, I was printing everything out and, and that Trump and I didn't want to talk about him anymore. Blech. But Trump is like, maybe we should boycott Starbucks. Maybe that's in order. And he's like, you know, the most successful Starbucks is in Trump Tower. And, you know, they're not getting their lease renewed. And oh, then he's like, oh, and then he's like, if I was president, Jesus. we're going to start saying Merry Christmas again. And then, uh, you know, he just hosted SNL. They had really high ratings. And it's just. I don't even know what to Remember say. That whole cup thing is, is, is fucking ridiculous. It's crazy, that, but they haven't had Merry Christmas on their cups for like the last six years. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's other religions <laughs> yeah. in America. We've known this. Get I'm over it. I'm always perplexed at what they think that Jesus is is in, in their mind sitting up there. You know, he's worried about the Starbucks cup. Yes. Right. He's like, God damn it, the marketing team failed. My face <laughs> isn't on the Starbucks cups. You're fired. You know, it's like, really? I mean, go to Coffee Bean. I don't know. They have snowflakes on their coffee cups. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> ridiculous. My dad paid good money for me to be you on know? that cup. I, exactly. Yeah. I think Starbucks is doing just fine. Yeah. I do. Even if like 1% of the population decided they didn't want to drink there anymore, they'd be fine. Yeah. Yeah. We'll yeah. be fine. Yeah. Well, I think that they're probably, they're just going, yes. Yeah, it's yes. so, so well, much this, attention for all them. All this publicity, people are going to go in just for the cups. They're probably going to yeah. be like collector's items yeah. by the yeah. end of the year. Whoever, whoever oh, was absolutely. like, we're just going to uh-huh. do red cups, they're like, got a giant promotion. <laughs> right? Uh, I know. Yeah, he was just lazy. He, he was just like, I don't know, red? Let's <laughs> 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 we'll st- get red cups. <laughs> <laughs> and then, meanwhile, Dixie cups are like, hey, we thought of that first. We've right. been solid red for years. <laughs> It's like, let's talk about the flavor of their coffee instead of the cups. Right, the well, let's yeah. Let's talk about that it's just coffee, it's, people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Throw some peppermint in it, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. But I want an eggnog latte. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ew. Eggnog latte? Mm-hmm. Have you ever had one? No. Should I? Yummy. Yeah. Really? Totally. 
Okay, well, yeah. there is a Starbucks across the street. I guess we're having an after oh, really? party. Yeah. 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 After party! Yeah. Eggnog yeah. latte. In our red cups, because we're I sinners! <laughs> we're already going to hell. We might right. as well exactly. Starbucks on the way there. Yes. Sin is in. Sin, sin, sin. The GLBTQ stampede is going to Starbucks oh, oh after their song seat. <laughs> I'm going to have them, uh, when I, they ask my name, I'm going to say Satan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Satan. Oh, people Satan. are, people, there's a whole thing now that, that just read this that they're, people are um, having them write Merry Christmas. They're like, when they say your name, what is it? Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, yeah. I saw that. Some woman had them write, uh, what was it? Uh, it was something like that, like Jesus or Mary. Jesus like, yeah, is the reason. I would have to write it on the cat. No I mean, one Starbucks, they'd write Mary M A R Y Christmas. <laughs> oh they, never, they never spell anything right. Right. <laughs> How did I get your name all the time? It's like furniture, fountain. Furniture. <laughs> they never get fortune right. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, I have them write Jesus loves coffee. <laughs> I, w- I, I thought would you were going to say Jesus loves cock. I <laughs> was like, there you go. Yeah. Let's do that. That'll That's be a even real better. after party. That's even better. Oh my God. If, I work, mm-hmm. if someone made me do that and I worked at Starbucks, I'd, be, I'd just be like, hey Zeus? Hey Zeus? <laughs> Vanilla latte for hey Zeus? Oh my God. And speaking of crazy people, there is um, there was a man, uh, his name is Marshall E. Leonard of Mississippi, is uh, in police custody after being charged with detonating an explosive in Walmart in oh. Tupelo. Um, because he um, was very sad that they were not selling Confederate flags anymore. <laughs> so he set off a bomb? He set mm-hmm. off a bomb in Walmart. Oh, that, se- mm-hmm. that seems reasonable. So wait, he, it seems he, he went to into Walmart. Into the store. <laughs> set off a bomb. Because they didn't have a Confederate flag. They, don't, right. they stopped, they stopped selling, selling them. them. He couldn't just like write a bad Yelp review. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, he's he like, to oh, I'm going to spread a bomb. Which is probably yeah. more powerful than an actual bomb. <laughs> I mean, it kind of like... it. it it seems appropriate. I mean, that's what I would think people that want to fly well, a Confederate well, flag would do. Probably, I mean, they could have told him you can just go to Walmart.com <laughs> and get one. I mean, could he still get one at Walmart.com? Maybe he needed I, urgently. Well, how, ma- how, like yeah, a, how many do you need? How many, do, so how many Confederate flags does one need? Many. Many. Yeah. Well, he was quoted. He said, time to clean my house, says the Lord. I'm like, I'm pretty sure the Lord can afford Target. Well, you know? <laughs> like, and I can only imagine what his house probably looks like. Oh, too. no. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, God. Well, the animals on the wall. <laughs> Confederate Skins. flag border. <laughs> <laughs> you know he's banned Starbucks, honey. He's not going to Starbucks now. He's angry. He draws his own flags on the cups now. <laughs> <laughs> the Confederate flag. I mean, you know, it really, yeah. That's crazy. A lot of crazy people out there. Yeah. yeah. Just real up in arms. About everything. And he probably bought all the material you needed to make a bomb at Walmart. <laughs> yeah. I, I was getting ready to say. He probably you know. just made it there in like aisle 16. Yeah. You know. so no one's paying attention. Because I went there into a Walmart last time I was home in Oklahoma for Thanksgiving and they actually have like a gun section. Like yeah, a, yeah. a section where you have a glass buy, case and you just You can go pick buy a gun. Out. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. I'm going to go shoot my wife. I'd like that, that one. That gun right there. <laughs> What's your name? Uh... D- D- John. Yes. Okay, <laughs> that's like their background you track. Are John. <laughs> uh, I live on uh, Main, <laughs> whatever Main Drive Street. You know. Oh my All God. right, you get a gun. <laughs> Real serious background. Well, they have check. to have some to hang up in the back of those pick 'em up trucks. Uh, no. You know, pick 'em up trucks. <laughs> you know those somebody. pick 'em up <laughs> trucks. Oh my God. <laughs> Gotta hang out in the back of those pick 'em up trucks <laughs> when they're tailgating and shit. Oh my god! Well, <laughs> I know this. I um, this kind of goes with Walmart and all the people we're talking about, but also because I'm sure they they fart a lot. I just <laughs> oh. but um, <laughs> come on, segue. Farts can f- uh, uh, um, a scientist claims that farts can fight cancer as well as other killer diseases and conditions. Because <laughs> hydrogen sulfide is toxic in large doses, but in tiny amounts, it helps protect cells and fight illness, according to researchers at Exeter University. At Exeter <laughs> University. <laughs> Exeter. <laughs> Exeter <laughs> University, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I feel like whoever 
did this research has a farting problem. <laughs> yeah. And he's he just trying to like make yeah. it okay. okay. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm not going to have cancer now because of this. He just wanted to fart in front of his girlfriend and make it okay. But my question is, how do they inject the fart into? Do you have to like put your mouth up against someone's like a, <laughs> butt? Oh, my God. Oh, it's like, fart oh, in it's human, like a like human a, centipede part four. Oh, like a literal <laughs> gas mask. Right. Or do they inject oh. the gas? In or the just gas? a room. I don't a don't room. Know. Like you just go in a room. Just a, bunch of, a lot of people just Dutch oven. Yeah. All the time. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no, I don't even know what that means. Oh. I can only imagine. You don't know what a, you don't Dutch, know what a Dutch, Dutch oven is. Oh. I'm an innocent well, little girl. Well, we have Oklahoma. to tell you now. It's not, oh, it's not you, that dirty. Do we have a blanket it's, we can just show her? <laughs> it's very. It's like it, if you and your significant other were mm. in, in the bed and you. I don't even say the word. Under the farted. covers. Tooted. <laughs> Tooted. <laughs> and, and you put the cover uh, underneath them and the, it traps. It like, yeah, you, it like you hold them under the under sheets. the covers. Under the covers. Yeah, it like incubates. So they're forced to <laughs> boyfriend's done that to me before. What's That's it called? Dutch, Dutch oven. oven. Fuck that. I, know. <laughs> I wonder it's if the nasty. Dutch are like, we didn't think of that. That wasn't us. I don't know. What the hell, man? We don't want that We one. didn't oh come God. up with that. Well, that's why I decided that the hashtag of the week. Hashtag of the week! <laughs> <laughs> Should be <laughs> hashtag may the farts be with you. <laughs> oh my God. And you know... <laughs> There we go. You know, some pharmaceutical company is going to try to bottle it up and try right. to sell that too. Fart in a jar. Fart Actually, in a jar. I think a prescription for <laughs> fart <laughs> juice. <laughs> um, I like the extra strength farts. Please. <laughs> now, wait a minute. This is supposed to cure cancer? Because, you know, yeah. Blitz, Lori Blitz posted on my Fight wall cancer, recently. Fight cancer, yeah. Okay. That uh, if you drink champagne on a daily basis, Cure or it, oh, I'm sorry, that doesn't cure cancer, that cures dementia and Alzheimer's. Oh, y'all really? know I saw that. That's because you drink so much, you forget you have it. Well, I was all excited when, and then it said three glasses a day. I was like, oh, fuck, I drink a whole bottle a day. <laughs> well, <laughs> you're just fun. gonna be really healthy, like, really you're gonna, healthy. You're gonna get memories, someone get fart on, old. dirty stand, or what, not dirty Sanchez, what's it called? <laughs> Dutch, Dutch, Dutch oven, oven wow. and yeah. champagne. Dirty Sanchez. How did, that's a totally different <laughs> thing. Something. I feel like that is something. That yeah, oh no, that's, that's, dirty. Like that's where you, that's you stick a finger in the poop hole and go rub it under their nose. Oh. Oh. <laughs> rub it across their oh. thing so they have a must out, of like course, a dirty sound. Of course, Pandora is the one that knows what that is. Right. <laughs> yeah, you didn't even have to Google that. No, uh, uh, like, well, let me. Oh, I, I better tighten your pores a little bit, though. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, it gives you that resting bitch face immediately. You're just uh. like, mm, I, oh, I smell poop. Uh, <laughs> I like wow. <laughs> Huh. Oh, speaking of poop, uh, <laughs> hey, Samantha's straight, and sometimes straight girls have something to say. Yeah, what? Uh -oh. What do you have to say? Straight girl says. But first, <laughs> let me take a selfie. <laughs> we have a lot of sound effects here. <laughs> <laughs> it's just getting well, sound effect heaven. <laughs> I do have to say that I met Bianca Del Rio for the first time last night, and she totally called me a lesbian. So <laughs> it's true. Aww. She I, calls everyone defense, a lesbian. I was wearing a lesbian's shawl. The fact you were. that I was wearing a shawl. But did it say and you lesbian? dyed your hair. And I dyed my hair purple. Mm. And I wasn't wearing makeup. And I was like, do fuck all, it. Whatever. Do lesbians She's like, this wear lesbian. shawls? Nah. I don't yeah. know. I don't know what it was. I mean, I'm sure like it. It's for their cats or something. I don't know. Shawls. Well, it was like this long <laughs> thing. I don't know. But I was just tired. I was done with the night because I had been out. It was Palm Springs Pride this weekend, right. which was super fun. A bunch of us went out there for that. But um, like going to all the bars with them, it was who was it? It was there was a bunch of us. It was like Morgan Delta Detox. It was a big group, and we go into this bar, and of course it's like beautiful men who want all the other beautiful men. And I had such a Harry Potter moment because I was like, my vagina is the best invis invisibility cloak I've ever had. And, like, <laughs> no one notices you at all. Like, all of a sudden, I was accepted to Hogwarts. I had, like, a scar shape on my... It was, it was so sad. It was so sad. Poor <laughs> so sad. Poor, poor vagina. Help me, I have but, a vagina. But now, wait, have you, have, you ever, have you ever dipped in the girly pond at I all? I have not. And I had an entire conversation with this girl who was desperately trying to get me to try it. She's like, well, have you thought 
about it. I'm like, oh, we should just try We got to take her to Dinosaur. Do you, oh, yeah. do you it's feel like Dinosaur? It's where all the lesbians, it's like a lesbian spring break. Yeah. Every April. You'll love it. In okay. Palm Springs. Yeah. No. But you'd have to be willing to dip in the lady pond. Yeah. Can I be like a, what is it, a pillow princess? I would yeah, be like, you just, do Oh, it. yeah. Oh, I yeah. Told you. you can just But be, you got to get a butch one. They'll, they'll, they'll take care of you. Yeah, I think I would go butch if I were going to go Wait, you would want, you would be butch or you'd want I would want the butch. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you want the butch. They'll take care of you. Yeah, like tattoos and. Fuck yeah. 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 You'll never go back, trust me. But wait, but do lesbians call you in the morning the next morning? They call you 500 times. I was getting ready to say (laughs) (laughs) You you think Adele calls a lot, honey? (laughs) The lesbians have nothing on her. Do they call? They're going to show up the next morning with a U haul in your driveway, girl. They're all like, they're coming back with you. They're They're all like, introducing you to their parents. Oh, fabulous. That, the next morning. Uh-huh. Their, their parents are on the yeah, phone. Yeah, it is not uh, the same as If you dude. don't get a ring tattooed on your finger with yeah. their name on it, <laughs> uh-huh. they're going to beat your ass. So I hope you're ready for a commitment. Yeah. I am looking for a new cat. I've, I've loved to have a well, cat. Fantastic. Well, there are a lot of from one pussy to another, honey. I, I mean, know. really. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's go. It's a date. I'll report huh. back next week. Okay. Or well, you have I'm to wait sure. till the spring well, Yeah, I would yeah. think oh. it's not. It's, no, it's not. It's too spring. cold. You can't pick the date of it. It's uh, you can't. Just, you it's, guys, let's have dinosaur weekend next weekend. Come on, it's every weekend for Wait, me. But doesn't the fact that I don't know any of this prove that I'm not a lesbian? No. Oh, <laughs> immediate no. Yeah, but if you become a lesbian, then I can't make fun of you for not being a lesbian. You can be bi. Shit. True. My roommate's the, by like half of your stick right there. What are you gonna do with? Yeah. The what are you gonna do? <laughs> if that's I, all of my stick. If I start have, I know. <laughs> if I start actually getting laid and become a lesbian, she'll right. have nothing to talk nothing about. To talk oh, about. No. Well, I do. I do have one more thing to talk about because oh, we always good. do a topic that's that we call uh, what? 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 I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. My little uh, hello. hello. I sing oh. it into uh, Samantha's vagina. See. Um, so uh, my, my <laughs> friend, echoes. <laughs> my friend Robin writes for the frisky.com and uh, she posts a lot of crazy things. I think she posts the thing about the Walmart thing. And um, she found this taxidermy uh, rat thong that was made as like, I don't know why it was made, but it's a taxidermy rat thong. And it, uh, whoever made it, <laughs> they put a little Chanel logo on it. <laughs> they sure did. Too. And I'm kind of like, why I don't understand like why in what world where you'd be like, you know what I want to make today? A taxidermy rat thong. You know, I, I saw a picture of that and I was like, I didn't realize Sharon Needles had come out with a lingerie <laughs> line. <laughs> so awesome. Very good for her. Very that. My yeah. favorite part is that like the at the tip of it, the teeth like are still in the rat's head. I was there wondering. Are these two big fangs. So no one's going to want to put their toolie right where these teeth no. are going right. It's a, yeah, a I have the teeth way. pointing out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I, think the teeth, I think the teeth were pointing in. Like, they, were, they were in? D- yeah. yeah like, like in the back, too. So it's like biting on your... Yeah. And like there were two. Nice. There's yeah. one that goes in the front. It's a rat one, in the back. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, one yeah. In the Unless it's a half it's a rat in the front, half in the back. Oh, probably not. It's very... Very New York subway homeless chic. But this, right. but huh. but this also goes with the, the you can't post anything because I posted it earlier oh, today on Facebook. And You're an animal abuser. Well, because I post a lot of animal rights things, and people are like, I can't believe that you would post this. Oh my god! Because you always post animal friendly things on here, and I'm because I wrote, who, who wants this for Christmas? Well, and I posted the thing, and right. I'm like, and Obviously people were, thought I was being serious. I'm like, this is a joke, a joke, and I don't think this is right. And people are like, so, oh. oh, it's so wrong. It's, I'm like, do you wear anything that's leather I know. do you eat me and it's like, already dead isn't it of course when they, when oh, they, I was like <laughs> yeah, no, it was <laughs> <laughs> no I don't mean once it's, it's on the thong I imagine I mean, <laughs> hey, I, hey I've won up to you I've got a live rat I've got a live rat on my vagina what are you gonna do <laughs> Um, Next step up is But the no, p- when they taxidermy it or whatever, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> they they taxidermy. taxidermy. Yes, yes, it's, it's not like they beat the rat over the head to kill it. To no, make it's it yeah, it's no, it's dead. Yeah, it's dead. Yeah. It's yeah. Normally they preserve it in its original state. 
not. So okay. it's like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. Oh my You're God. now underwear. I wonder if Chanel can sue because they used a little Chanel logo on it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't oh. know where, though. I don't even know where you can get this. Etsy. Or... Probably. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? They need to make like a bra with it with like little wrap traps hanging off your like nipples. So oh it's like God. a whole set, like an ensemble. Yeah, with a chain that connects if it. If you're going to yeah. rats, this is. It's a very niche market for it, you know. <laughs> I think we just found the wardrobe for your new your new song. I just chill so. the fuck out. Chill just the you fuck and rats. out, honey. I got rat traps on my nipples and <laughs> dead rats on my vagina. Oh my right? God. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you gonna do? Well, oh, thank you guys for coming on the show. It's been Thanks so much for fun. Having yeah. It seems so quick. I know. But, um, yeah. um, Kelly Mantle, your new song, Keep Courage That. Where yeah. can we find it? And where can we find you? You can find me at kellymantle.com. Oh, that. that's so sweet. Yeah, the the song's on <laughs> iTunes, My YouTube. The song's on iTunes. Buy it. Too. She'll make a couple pennies off oh. it if you want. And also <laughs> find me on the corner of Santa Monica and Highlands. Oh, I might be there oh. tonight, too. That's Ooh. fancy. Oh. Get off my corner, bitch. <laughs> 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 By the donut shop. Right. <laughs> and, oh, you're so funny. I love you. Fortune Feemster. So where, where can we find you? Everywhere. Fortunefeemster.com. I'm coming to a lot of cities. So if you live in St. Louis or New York or Tacoma, I'll be there in the next month. So come to a show or check out the Mindy Project on Hulu. Yeah. Yay. And my lovely co host, Samantha Hale, where can we find you? You can't do that corner tonight because we just claimed it. <laughs> <laughs> She's well. going for the lesbian corner tonight. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's over in Silver Lake. Is there a Dinosaur Boulevard There's here? There's a Home Depot, aisle <laughs> 11. <laughs> oh, I actually saw tools. Queen Latifah and her girlfriend in Home Depot one night. Oh, so. when's Queen Latifah oh. coming out? Right. Mm. <laughs> Wait, she's not? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> she's in the <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh no! Seriously, you can find me on my therapist couch after this. Thank you <laughs> <Okay>. so much. <laughs> at the Samantha Hale on at, at broke ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> at, at least it's at gaping vagina. Is yeah, the other one. and um, <laughs> I'd like to thank work.com for sponsoring us today. And um, I'm Pandora Box, and you can find me at pandorabox.com. There's two X's in box because the extra X marks the spot. Ooh. Ooh. Lesbian. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. I'm turning. Thanks, guys. Other <laughs> <laughs>